crossroads of money and magic. The Welcome the everybody to our second let's our play way. in Dark Messiah of so. Might and Magic. It's been pretty dull. We should go back to this this is the first the real reason. level of the, the game. The it's pretty fun. Oh. Yeah, and uh, this is a scripted event. I can't turn uh, but 45 degrees either direction. I can't steer the horse. I can't talk to the people we're going by. And uh, you're thinking, oh man, that's railroading. Doesn't that break immersion? To which I respond, heck no, what are you talking about? Um, there's nothing to do in this town, and even if the developers had let us walk around, even if had they had uh, you know, given us a problem to solve in the town, I promise you it's not as exciting as what's about to happen inside of the city. And I don't mind it if a game railroads me from uh, something boring to something exciting. Heck, I want something exciting, so I consider that uh, a good design choice, not a bad one. And because you don't have to screw around with, you know, figuring out what's I'm going in that town for no reward, for I think uh, being forced That's into the Lord. city is actually uh, very Got immersive. Wary of strangers these days. I'm gonna call I you Frank. Of Hi, Frank. Let me see it then. There you go, Frank. Hmm. By special request of Lord Menelai. And there's a seat. Darn right, Let Frank. Let me welcome you to Stonehelm. We'll stable your horse for you if it pleases. Well, of thank course. you, Frank. Can you tell me where to find Menelag? Certainly, sir. You go uphill past the Golden Ribbon and Sweet Dragon's Blood. What's that? Oh, it's a horse. Oh, you're not talking about that. Okay. Catch me! Get inside, quickly! I'm here. I'm really here. What are we going to do? Oh, Frank, you're my best friend. Here we go. So yeah, like I said, something spectacular inside the city. I had no problem uh, being forced through that little boring outside place in order to get here. I'm just buggering out. Aww. I'm sorry. He got collapsed it. So yeah, I'm not uh, slowing down long enough to uh, let it happen. Uh, but we're also being chased by regular everyday uh, monsters. Uh, that's just to keep us moving. I just know through experience that if I don't close that first, somebody's going to get their head chopped off. And uh, I like Frank. This probably isn't Frank. It can be Frank's uh, twin brother, Hank. Whatever you say... Uh, I don't have a name for him yet, sorry. So yeah, uh, again, headed to a Ballista minigame, uh, if we can call it that. It's more like a Ballista plot device. Um, and again, you know, there's not much I can do but go to the Ballista, but at the same time. Uh, my options uh, without going to the Ballista are running around, uh, twiddling my thumb, so I have no trouble uh, with the game telling me what to do, because it's going to be something awesome, like shooting gremlins and ghouls and soon enough a cyclops with a, a gigantic Ballista. Come on, Sarah, keep up your fire. Shut up, Pikachu. Now or never, Sarah. You have to kill it. Take that. You did it. I'd hug you if I could. No, Frank! Oh, Frank! <laughs> you were the best friend an adventurer could ever have. Yeah, so, glad that's over with. Anyway, uh, now we can uh, start the story proper. I'll pick up what provisions there are around here. I see I have some skill points. Um, I'm gonna drop one into the new fighting skill. Drop one into stamina, so we can uh, head for this endurance upgrade soon. 
I'll drop one into telekinesis so that we can get the heal spell. I have one more. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop one on alertness as well so I can eventually get to the uh, upgraded magic skill. Nice work there, friend. You've got some real potential. Well, thank you, mister. Excuse me, 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 okay. Alright. I'll take a book. I'll take some food. I'll take some health. I'll open up so that you can see the book. It's just basically telling you what element to use against bad guys. Nothing new. Nothing we couldn't figure out on our own. Except, uh, for some reason, in, uh, Might and Magic mythology, uh, orcs are part demon. So, um, yeah, they're affected by, uh, anti-demon measures, like lightning. But not so much by, uh, fire. Just, just a quirk this game has. Anyway, we're about to enter, um, the city proper. It's not much on exploration, especially uh, coming out of games like Oblivion or Morrowind, uh, where you can explore for hours and hours and uh, find all sorts of interesting things. And though, uh, though there are a couple secrets to find, I don't need a bow, we're not doing archery this playthrough, although there are a couple secrets to find, it really is designed just to get you from point A to point B. Uh, that being said, if you're paying attention, <coughs> mm, sneezed, excuse me, if you're paying attention, uh, um, the, uh, level actually feels a lot larger than it's built because, um, of a couple things, and I'll point those out to you as we get to them. Ghouls don't swim well. What do we do with the bodies? What do we do with the bodies? Ask myself that every Friday night. Anyway, uh, so what makes this city feel so big when in reality it is, reality it is so small? Well, the first thing it does is have large underground places. What does that do? Well, uh, just like in real life, um, oh, sorry, she yelled at me for going into the kitchen. That was pretty immersive. That's a nice touch. I appreciate that. Anyway, uh, just like in real life, uh, going underground uh, impairs your sense of distance. Um, so too does going underground in a game. And by... Oh, I thought he was going about to shoot me. I was worried. But no worries. Um, yeah, just like in real life, uh, when you go underground, um, your sense of distance is impaired. So too as it is in a video game. And uh, this room is, uh, you know, pretty big. Uh, it has nothing to do with the above ground area, though. But because it's attached, you know, everything feels bigger because of it. Um, you can see uh, there are lots of twisting alleyways, none of which, which really take you anywhere. Uh, but again, the idea is uh, the more alleyways, even though the... Uh, Leave her be, Sarah. She's not important. Whatever you say, Pikachu. Um... But these twisting alleyways uh, do lend a sense of uh, largeness to what is otherwise a very small play space. And I think you can go inside people's houses here, but I also think uh, I'd be chased down by the cops for it, so... You know what so. they say about the size of a man's front gate? That big one must be Manalag's. Yep, not gonna tangle with the guard. Anyway, there's a secret coming up, and I'm going to look this way to show you. Now, uh, if you didn't notice the ladder, uh, you probably would have never noticed the secret. But as a sort of hint, the game developers had someone walk down the ladder as soon as you show up. Um, as a kind of hint, let's say, or to teach you that uh, you can climb up this ladder. So I will jump inside this creepy building. I'll recklessly blow something up, get the health potion, and get the heck out of here. So we can find Liana, Liana, and uh, finish uh, chapter 2, chapter 1, first level, what we're doing right now. And there she is. Excuse me. Oh, 
Oh, you must be the envoy. Here's our guest. If the last lady was Pikachu, uh, you can be Squirtle. Uh, okay. I'm here to see the wizard Lord Menelag on behalf of Master Fenrir. You must be Sarath. I was getting worried about you, though maybe for no reason. Uncle said you helped kill a Cyclops. Would have been easy if I had a Squirtle. I'm just the saying. Enemy. Menelag's niece and pupil. Niece? Pupil? Mm. Shut up, Pikachu. Uncle will be so pleased to see you. But you'll want to wash up before dinner. Please. Follow Maybe me. you can help me out with that, with Squirtle. Pleasure. I mean, yes. Excellent. Guard! Please open the portcullis! Yes. No, I'll let you her wait a for a moment to honor, uh, explain you? something to you that was neat. Uh, there's a scrap of paper in the tower where the ballista was. Um, and if you read that scrap of paper, it says, uh, I'd like to get inside and put uh, it's a note from a guard to his, like, journal, to his diary. And, uh, it's talking about how much he likes Leanna. And I bet you anything you that time, that sir. guard we just, uh, saw walk away from Leanna, um, who was like, oh, no, okay, oh well, um, was that guard. Just, uh, Nice little, uh, cool thing uh, that you might not have noticed on your first time. Anyway, we'll so finish this cutscene, and that'll be the end of Good Let's Play see number you, two. Lad. With those necromancers at the walls, watch it. With that, I was getting worried. I trust you brought the Shantiri crystal. Of course. I brought Pikachu, Pikachu, if that's what you mean. I'll take that, my lad, for safekeeping. Tomorrow we see you with it. Careful with that soup there. To the Temple Isle, God. resting place He's of kind the skull of jumpy. shadows. Let Arantir throw his army against the walls. We'll be off sealing his doom. Don't dismiss Arantir too lightly. There are rumors that he might be the Dark Messiah. No oh, stuff and nonsense, girl. All three of us know better than that. But the time is right for the prophecy. I'll worry prophecy. about dusty old prophecies. You worry about the expedition. You're expedition. in charge of the it sounds like we're going of to catch course, Mewtwo. Uncle. Good night. I could be wrong. And to you too, Sarah. Legends, expeditions. Please don't tell me you find that sort of thing cute. Listen well, boy. I know why you're really here, but Liana doesn't, and we'll keep it that way. Fenric's business doesn't touch her. Understood? I don't know what's going what on. What are you talking about? Hmm. Perhaps you don't know, and that's probably for the best. Oh, are we going to talk about all the, the other house. Pokemon? Get some sleep, hero. We say I don't, the I don't, I pretend tired. they don't exist. Anyway, that's the end of Let's Play number two, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me.